Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Friday Afternoon Manor live with Dr. J today. And we have a delightful uh, lineup here. And just reminding people we now will be serving by lunch. So if you want to come out and enjoy the safe conversation as well. But over to Susan Johnson. Hi, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. We're happy to uh, welcome Elena Dickinson, who is going to talk to us about the power of the spirit to heal. And that's something I think we could all use right now. Hello, it's so nice to be here. I know it's beautiful outside, so people are, would rather be outside, but I have some interesting, an interesting topic that you might enjoy. So I'm happy to be here and speak about the power of the soul to heal. Yes. Wait one moment. Okay. All right. So again, I'm happy to be here and speak about the power of the soul to heal. I've been studying soul healing for over 10 years, and I am a Tao Hands practitioner, a practitioner of soul healing. I'd like to begin to tell you about myself before we start. I always knew what I wanted to do with my life, and that was to help people. I became a pediatric nurse caring for children in the hospital, and after 10 years, feeling it was not the right fit, I left nursing to work in the schools as an educational assistant, supporting students with learning disabilities and helping children in a special class to prepare for kindergarten. At that time, there was a growing interest in alternative healing methods, therapeutic touch, if you remember, hands-on healing used in hospital, Reiki, which is still going on, massage therapy, naturopathy, acupuncture, and more. People wanted these treatments because of their holistic approach, meaning they treated the whole body and still the symptoms, their effectiveness and their lack of side effects and also the cost. At my brother's invitation, I attended a seminar by Dr. Ji Gong Sha, a, Chinese, a traditional Chinese doctor who was, in, who was in, introducing ancient self-healing techniques used in China that were simple but very effective. The practices combine traditional Chinese medicine, Western medicine, and Qigong. And for those of you who don't know Qigong, that's um, a 4,000 year old ancient Chinese exercise, which uses a healing technique, which involves meditation, controlled breathing, and movement exercises. I later learned that Dr. Shaw had spent 30 years of serious study of the cultural arts and sciences, Tai Chi, Qigong, I Ching, Feng Shui, Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism. He was also a Western trained doctor, trained Western trained doctor, acupuncturist, herbalist, and a Qigong master. Fast forward 10 years later in 2009, I saw him again at the Indigo Bookstore, which is close by at Young and Eglinton, promoting his new book, The Power of the Soul. The way to heal and rejuvenate. So I'll just show you that book. <laughs> that's it. And that's the book. I have been curious about the soul since reading the book, The Seed of the Soul by Gary Zukov many years before, but this was different. It was all about the soul and more. So, continue on. My, soul, my journey to learn soul healing was initiated and I began to study with Dr. Shaw, learning everything about the soul, the early self healing methods of the four power technique, which is now involved to six powers and the integration of Tao calligraphy healing, which is another aspect. Over the years, I've acquired skills to help others with immediate results. For me to self heal is very empowering and that everyone, everyone can learn the techniques. So there's a picture of the book. That's there's a book that's written about Master Shaw and it tells about his journey and it was written by William Gladstone and um, who at first didn't believe in what was going on, uh, believe in Master Shaw and also um, William Gladstone, I think was a publisher of other um, 
healing masters or Eckhart Tolle and think deeper Chopra. So that's a good book to read if you want to learn more. So which brings us to a topic today to explain the power of the soul. To give you perspective, con conventional medicine focus on matter in the cells using blood tests, scans, and x-rays. Traditional Chinese, Chinese medicine focuses on the energy between the cells. If qi flows, one is healthy. If it's stagnant, one is not healthy. And I guess an example of this is a tumor, which is an accumulation of energy blocking the flow of energy. So soul healing focus, focus is heal the soul first, then healing of the mind and body will follow. So what is the soul? It is described by, by some as the essence of one's life that survives the death of a human body. In China and in Indian, they're very, very familiar with the soul. In the West here, we know it as spirit or an inner voice, but it is also message and information. In quantum physics and Tao science, they teach soul as information or message. Soul and message, information are the same. Everything and everyone has a soul, a human being, an animal, plants, trees, your dog, your cat, the sun, the moon, inanimate, inanimate objects, such as a city, a relationships, business, and finances. In the human being, the soul is a golden light being, which resides in the lower abdomen of the body or in any of the seven chakras, which are uh, seven energy points in the body. If you um, study yoga or, or yoga, you probably are aware of that. How do we know it's a golden light being? Because people with spiritual channels or third eye have actually seen it and they see a life form, a little, a light being. In the human body, every system, every organ, every cells, DNA, RNA, and others, and in the spaces between the soul, have a soul. How does it work? Ancient spiritual teachers teach that everything and everyone is made of Shen. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a visual because it's words are a lot. Chi, so Shen is the first one. Shen, Chi. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving a visual because sometimes there's a, just to give you an understanding. Shen, Chi, and Jing. So in the picture you'll see in the first one, back to the first one, Shen is, includes your soul, your heart, and mine. So Shen is information. Soul is message. The heart's the receiver and mind is the processor. So when you combine these things together, they can transform things by connecting to the soul. So the soul gives a message to the heart, which is the receiver. Is in there. Soul is message. Gives a heart to the receiver. Heart, which is the receiver. Then it sends the message to the mind. The mind processes the information, directs the energy. The energy takes the action and moves the matter. And matter is what you experience, which is this one. So I'm gonna repeat that again. Soul gives a message to the heart. Heart receives the message and gives it to the mind. The mind processes the information and directs the energy. Energy takes the action and moves the matter. Matter is what we experience. So I just want to share um, a story that Master Shaw showed using the soul healing technique that I'm going to share with you because um, Master Shaw has uh, um, taught many things. He's advanced quite, quite far along. Hi, I saw him. 
So this is a story. When Master Shaw was in Indian teaching, because he travels the world before COVID, he was starting to get well known. He traveled the world and began, he was teaching in India and his books had come out. One of them was uh, So Mind Body Medicine, which is this one. So Mind Body Medicine. This is a book this, this individual had used. He was a doctor in India. Uh, he had a patient that suffered from severe psoriasis and those of you who don't know, it's, it's a skin, a very severe skin condition. And this person had suffered for years. Her body was inflamed, it was like red splotches and her skin was very itchy and she was shedding skin. She suffered for seven years with various medical treatments with no success. She practiced for many long hours. Uh, sorry, wasn't, sorry, I'll go back, with no success. So this doctor taught her this healing method from the book to heal her psoriasis. So she gave it a try because she had no other recourse and she was willing. So she practiced for many hours, several times a day. After two days, the inflammation was gone and she con continued to practice, practice, practice every time she could get, have time. And within seven days, the whole body was cleared. It was gone. And then another one was where this woman had um, a cyst in her uterus was the size of a grapefruit. Again, she used the healing technique and within seven days, her cyst completely disappeared. There are many, many stories in his books um, that have come about using some of the techniques that Master Shaw has taught. So today I wanna to do um, a self-healing practice using this information. So I want everyone to think of an area where you have a little bit of pain, whether it's your shoulder, your back, your knee. Mm -hmm. um, your stomach pain. If nothing comes to mind, you can still focus on something to heal and rejuvenate. And we're going to use this technique. It's called the four power technique. It involves soul power where you're gonna say hello to your souls and body power, which is a placement of your hands on the area where you want to receive healing. Mind power, which is creative visualization and sound power, which is a positive message that you want to send to your, uh, for your request. So we're gonna repeat the sound for about three minutes minimum out loud or quietly and then I'll close the practice by saying how, 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 which means perfect, wonderful, or get well to thank the souls that came to help us and then say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And gong gong song gong song is a Chinese uh, additional words that say respectfully return because you've called the souls in. Because remember souls are, when I said souls are everything and everyone, anything, it also includes souls like saints and Buddhas and, and Jesus, which um, the chair is a soul, the table is a soul. So today we're gonna, if you, everybody has to think of something. John Joseph, you have something? Okay, so you follow along and I'll, we'll do it together. So before we start, think of how you're feeling right now, sort of the baseline, and then how you feel afterwards. And I'm gonna ask Susan, because mm -hmm. <laughs> she's here. So close your eyes and just relax because when you relax, the cells will connect better. And then your intention is there, even just to try it this once. So say hello means, dear soul, and you can repeat it quietly or silently, dear soul, mind and body of my, whatever your request is. You're gonna give it love. I love you. You're gonna make an affirmation an order, you have the power to heal yourself. Give them a pep talk, give an order, do a good job and then express gratitude. Thank you. So body power is place your hands on the area. I'm gonna put it on my, my, my stomach here. Place your bodies, place your hands on your body where you like to request the healing. So that way you direct the energy to where the energy, direct the energy where you want to go. And my mind power is to use creative visualization. So visualize golden light, because that's a healing light. Think of the sun, go to that area of your request. 
and sound power is a positive message. So we could send a message like love, love, love. I love my back. I love my stomach. I love my heart. Okay. So any questions? Okay. So I will start and we're going to do the, oh, one more thing. After we're finished, I'm going to say how, 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 and then you know the practice is finished and and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I just want you to sit for a few minutes and just experience this. And then when you're ready, we'll open our eyes. So I'm gonna try and keep track of time here. Thanks. Okay, so we're ready. So we've done that, the soul power, we said hello, body power, put your hand, mind power, visualize, and um, sound power, love or what you would say, I love my back. So we'll say it out loud. And if you're shy, you can say, but as long as you say it is the most important thing. So I'm gonna start with love, 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 love. And I want everyone to chant along. Don't be shy, we're just, just us. <clears throat> love, 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 because you're sending that message to your request. Love, 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 love. I love my back, I love my stomach. Love, 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 love. Love, love, focus on the area that you're giving it to. Love, 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 love. I love my back. I love my stomach. I love my knee. Love, love, love. I love my hip. I love, 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 love. Love, love, I love you, I love you, I love, 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 love. And you can chant silently because that vibrates the smaller spaces. Love, love, love. Love, 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 love. I love my back. I love my hip. Love, 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 love. Love, 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 The last couple of minutes, seconds, we're going to say love, 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 love. I love my back. Love, 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 love. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. So sit there for a few minutes. Take a deep breath and relax. Breathe it out. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and I invite you to share what you experience. Who's happy? 
It's crazy for some. Are anybody you like to share or has an ex? Well, I can jump, I can hear you from the buzz of the Yeah, I would say I felt uh, a real sense of you know, irony and so the words were meant very sort of loud and kind of Anybody else? Anybody else put your hand up and then don't be shy. It's okay if you say I didn't feel anything. Sometimes it's Everybody's different. Like that. That's cool. This it's with um, this is what they call visualization. It's a, something that's been used a lot. Gilda Radner was told to use it with her cancer, and it's you visualize. You know, uh, if it's like a bunched up muscle, you think of it as bread dough, and you're pulling it apart and you're easing it. Uh, if it's a pain you visualize it like a light and the light gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and uh, it tends to work for a lot of people the thing is of course to let it work to believe okay does anybody have any questions so yeah i mean uh, so when i think of this very very a traumatic spirituality when you think of people that just you know, millennia we're using sometimes vocalizations to, to create this interesting when they were portrayed in films. Hollywood didn't necessarily give them the top of what they call them the witch doctor or something. <laughs> and then, of course, I think the women were made as well. The women did this, but they were burned and safe for being witches, so to speak. But you know, we're reminded by, uh, you know, we read sometimes, it seems sometimes it, it's something new, mm -hmm. but it's definitely not new. You know, it's like the idea of, of vocalization is called the power. I have all the ancient version of spoken word, which really touches your soul. And it reminded me when I was in Thailand mm. and we were walking in mean, many temples, we'd often hear Buddhist chant. And, and the Buddhist chant would be right here in the chest, and just, uh, just like you were talking about today. And I think sometimes people don't realize uh, when, would you say, when people listen to music? Uh, so I'm uh, not, I mean, not all music, but some music. It certainly lends itself more to that than others. Great, great. So um, anybody else have questions out there? Or comments? Comments, if there's one second here, we're going to make it big so we can see. And that's going to be. Just turn off your, uh, you good, good. Hi, Gary. Fire away, Gary. Hello. Um, I found it very peaceful, and after it was over, I I forgot what I was worrying about or what the problem was. Is that a common experience? Everybody experiences something different. Sometimes it's immediate. Sometimes it's like a day or two afterwards. When I was doing um, offering someone uh, healing this of a different nature. Um, she couldn't walk up the stairs and after it was done, she's oh, she didn't feel anything, wasn't any different. But the next day she called me, she says, I can walk up the stairs. So sometimes we call it blockages where the energy is not moving. And it's like having a brick mm -hmm. wall. If you've had that pain or discomfort for a long time, it takes a lot. It's light that when we're talking about doing them, the sound, it's trying to penetrate this wall. And after a while, it gets through. So everybody's different. If you didn't feel anything, that's okay. But it, you did get something. So oh, I felt wonderful. good. Yeah. It was. A, I found it was quite amazing that, you know, it was peaceful. And then whenever it stopped, I thought, what was I thinking about? It totally disappeared. No, it's it's wonderful. It's uh, as I said, I've been doing this for ten years, and and of course, there's always a level, a little bit of doubt. But I've been in it for so long as. It works. Mm -hmm. it, it very works. And I'm very happy to share it with people because, as I said, it's self healing. You can do it. You can mm -hmm. do it. There's many, many practices to, to go along. And um, I just gave you the very early techniques that I learned because there's more things that have progressed since and being with them for 10 years. Thank you, Gary. Any other questions for Gary? Pardon me? Any other questions? No, that's great. Thank you. I enjoyed it. It was very enlightening. Thank you. Any questions from anyone else? 
Yes, I have a question. Um, should you do this as a practice every day? Yes. Do you have, if you have a particular concern, yes. Because as I explained, this is the example. This woman had a very serious skin condition and um, it took a long time for her. That was very, you know, very unique. It took a long time, but yeah, do it every day, every day. And I can, if you want to contact me or I can give information how to go through the steps again, that's just one of the very steps, techniques that you can use. Yes, you can use it for, if you have anxiety, I didn't want to, to you know, conflict with many things, but if you have anxiety, for instance, if you put your hand on your heart, because your heart center, and say, dear soul, mind, body, of my anxiety, I, well, anxiety, I love you, you have the power to heal yourself, heal yourself. And there's different sounds you could use to vibrate that area or to, to heal. Yeah, thank you. That's a good question. Did you want to put your uh, email in the chat? Yeah, it's a long one. I wish I had a shorter one, but I... I, I well, you're going to have to spell it because I'm, I'll have to change it one day. So it's my last name in short form. D D C K N S D C K N is Nancy S, S and Sam. Yes. M is Milana. E I M S D C K N S N S N is Nancy D D is in David C K is in Ken N yes. S yes. M E I L M E I L yep. at AOL.com. Uh, uh, com. Yeah. So just take a look at that and chat, everybody. Yeah. And uh, there's a uh, sort of a short from Dickens. Yeah, Dickens, uh, Mainland. I uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And now, Debbie, do you have a question? Um. Yes. Um, Milana, I I remember that. Um, from one of the classes that you talked about, I believe it was you, talked about trees and how trees give us energy. Mm -hmm. Was that, was that yeah, from one uh, of the Well, I may have mentioned that, but they do. And, and I know people mentioned that if you sit beside a tree, they radiate energy too. It's what I've learned from other, other things. And nature is very healing I think you all know that you I've gone out in my garden and I'm out there for four hours and I feel great so everything can offer you healing as well as I said when you when I said souls I said everything so you could ask the tree again and using that invocation please offer me healing and it will mm -hmm. so um I found that um when you're feeling sad mm -hmm. or um, depressed or to go down and, and into the trees and absorb the energy. Perfect. There's so many ways that you can uplift your spirits. Sometimes it's chronic for some people, but yes, there's like JJ was explaining music uplifts people. It, it changes to what we call frequency and vibration. And there's lots of things been said about that. Um, how things can vibrate at a slower level or a higher level, for instance, like when you, um, I think a, a, an example is a water glass while well, you can bang it and they'll have a high sound. And another one I wanted to explain too is, I think some, it's different from me, is Dr. Emoto. He was the one who studied water and when you, he studied the crystals. So when you said a very negative word, like bad, the crystals would form in a certain formation. If you said happy, you'd see a beautiful formation of crystals. So there's many things. I mean, as, as JJ said, this Master Shaw is one, one person who I've been resonated with that has his way of healing, but there's many healers out there. It's just what works for you. I just find this very effective. So in terms of other, other types, what would one recommend uh, for maybe some people going forward? So we've heard this, and you mentioned the books, and, and one, one thing, are there other, uh, sometimes you send me links to different teachings. Yeah. But are you doing a, a blog yourself? No, I don't do a blog. Um... I thought I'm doing a blog. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, I hope we could give you five minutes with Milana on a daily basis. Yeah, that, that would be a good idea. There's a lot of people actually on YouTube. If you go to YouTube, I'm not trying to push myself away. 
but Master Shaw has a lot of healing, um, healing exercises on there. And he does the, the chanting. You just have to sit there and listen. One for hip, for finances, for your spleen or and stomach. And then I think on sorry, JJ has this this one song. One thing that people can listen to is Love, Peace, and Harmony. I think we had it playing before we came on. I just have to go to that. Yeah, right and um, I'll let people hear it. Yeah, please listen to that. I want, we can do this for the last few minutes. Actually, close your eyes and just listen to it. For about three or four minutes. Yeah, three or four minutes. One second. We'll go back to the... Because it's a soul song, it's you a... can ask, a request a blessing from the song. So as you're listening to this, just close your eyes yeah. and we'll let it play for three or four minutes in yeah. one second. So relax, put your shoulders down. Actually, this is another version, but this is a meditative music. This is, this is okay also. It's very, I like this too.
everyone. What I'll do is I'll put the link to this. In, Hold on, there's an even other original one. One second, there we go. Oh, here it is. I'll put this, one, I'll put this in the chat. That's, the blessing. that's the one, really, that's the one. But the other one's good. This is the, the first original one. The other one was a new revised version, yeah. sir. This is the one you should be listening to. I'll put this in the chat. Yeah. And there. And then what I can do also... This is the one you can ask a blessing for. It's got one day, one day I'll talk about this this song too. What else? Because this is a very special soul song. Very special. Divine. Sorry about that. I did that the first time. I think what we need is an annotated bibliography from you, Milana. Yes, and there's, <laughs> there's was a bit more information. So back to you. Okay. So the other thing I, I will, because I'm, I'll, I will talk about, which is the most current healing that he's doing, is calligraphy, Tao calligraphy, and it's something that he learned from a, a lineage holder. He's now now a lineage holder. It's one one stroke calligraphy, and then and in the calligraphy, he uses that you connect with that and to receive a healing one day i hope i can bring it to you and we can we have a small class we can um do this calligraphy i don't know if there's anything i'm going to check this book to see if there's something in here that you can so i can show you what it is um he's done here's one right here this is one example so this is called can you see it so the backwards so light calligraphy this one's cool and they all have you connect there's a portal and now master shah is teaching the the dao not daoism but dao is the creator of everything and everything and it's got a high purity energy because master shah is a very high spiritual teacher healer and um he has many abilities and one of them is, is that you He's teaching now to collect, to connect with the Tao through these calligraphies. The most recent book, I didn't bring it with me, unfortunately, it was Tao calligraphy um, to heal the back, specifically for the back. So a lot of people suffer from back problems, whether they're lifting or carrying. And this book, when you use it, will help you heal your back. So he's going through, right now, if you go to the site, www.drshaw.com, you will find a lot of information in there. Um, there's what we call, I've sent JJ doll light massage, which you really, no one touches you, but you lie down, you make a request and um, the light and energy from these calligraphies come out to you and you receive it. So Master Shaw always say, I always like to use this. If you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. So. Is there any questions? I know Debbie's been around for a while. I, I, we, I connected, I haven't seen her for a long time, but does she have any questions she like to, or would like to share? Or? No, no more questions. Okay. Anybody else questions? Yeah. Okay. I think I sped through this. That's okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll probably be good if you guys give us a one page, uh, some websites to connect with. Yeah. That would be, I, can, I can share that with people. Mm -hmm. We it can go in our network when we yeah. Also, go in the um, this is going on YouTube, put it yeah. in the header. Yeah, I can put that. So, if you send us, we can send it as a photo, uh, an image, and we can put it on the header for YouTube. Yeah, okay. Oh, what yeah. the you want me to send the sorry, I wasn't sure. Oh, the calligraphy, but the calligraphy, well, just the, the resources you suggest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. If you go to the www.drshaw.com website, it has a lot of information what he's doing, and um. And the calligraphy, less healings. So, 
Well, I would say it's been wonderful. I'm really glad I'm having you here. Well, I'm just have you back on one second. And then, uh, so we'll, we'll say back to Susan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you all for coming. And uh, thank you. That was really informative. And I'm certainly going to follow up on that. Next week, we welcome back Victor Carrotton, who is going to tell us about springtime in Toronto as it used to be. You, if you attended his one on winter, you will know that we used to be able to skate on the Don River and there were ski hills and all things that we don't have anymore thanks to global warming. But uh, it'd be interesting to see what we used to have many years ago in the spring. So I hope you can join us. Thank you everyone. So long for now. Be well. Be well.